Hello everyone. So let's look at an example from chapter one. And this one we're asked to determine key terms for a scenario. Okay, uh, terms like uh, population, sample, etc. Um, so a study was conducted at a local college to analyze the average cumulative GPAs of students who graduated last year. We're going to fill in the letter of the phrase that best describes each of the items below. So basically, we want to figure out what's the population in the study, what's the statistic, the parameter, the sample, the variable, and the data. All right, so those uh, six things are, when you're reading about a statistical study being done, those are important things to identify. All right. So uh, let's look at... Part A says all students who attended the college last year. All right, so because the study was conducted at the local college and you want to average, sort of analyze the uh, characteristic of the population, uh, the GPAs in this case, uh, and basically you're, the group that you're interested in is, is the students who graduated last year. So all students who attended the college last year would be your population okay so this uh, would fit with oh a is the population all right let me write a lowercase just to kind of there you go a all right let's look at b the cumulative gpa of one student who graduated from the college last year all right so this is base this is the variable so variable varies uh, from one subject in your study to another. Okay, so you're looking at students, those are your subjects, and GPA is a characteristic of the subject. So the GPA will vary from one student to another. So when you say the GPA of one student, then that's your variable because you, you can look at uh, different students, they would each have different GPA, some will have the same, uh, but that's that's the uh, what you're interested in, the characteristic you're interested in, and that's the variable in the study. All right, let's see. C are 3.65, 2.8, 1.5, 3.90. These are samples, examples of the GPA. So these are, if you went to ask the students, what's your GPA, or you looked it up, these are the numbers that you were collect. This is like the raw data. Okay, so, so C is the data in your study. All right, part D says a group of students who graduated from the college last year randomly selected. All right, so this is a group from the population of interest. Uh, it's best to select them randomly because then you get a representative sample, but this would be your sample. Okay, so population is the entire group that, of interest and the sample is a section, a group from the entire population that, that's selected randomly. All right, let's look at E. The average cumulative GPA of students who graduated from college last year. So this is average, all right? So this is some calculation that you've done with the raw data. And if the calculation concerns your entire population, then this is a parameter. That's a parameter goes with population. P's go together, all right? Um, okay, so all students who graduated from co college last year. Ooh, all right. So here is a interesting thing. So A is all students who attended college last year. F is all students who graduated from college last year. So who am I interested in? We're interested in the GPA of students who graduated. So A is not my population, it's F that's my population because we're interested in students who graduated, not who attended, okay? And you can see that the sample goes with that. The sample D, the group of students who graduated from college last year, are randomly selected. So the group of interest is students who graduated, not, not the group the students who attend okay all right so so that's a 
distinction between these, right? So I don't think A goes anywhere. I think that that A was just to kind of throw us off a bit, so to make sure that we're thinking. All right, let's look at G, the average cumulative GPA of students in the study who graduated uh, from the college last year. So we're looking at the average of the data of the students in the study. So this is just from the group we selected in the sample. So this would be a statistic. So G is the statistics. Okay, so statistic is a calculated thing, a calculation uh, from the data that you collected that concerns the sample. So the S's go together. So if you kind of you have a trouble remembering parameter goes with population, P's go together, statistics go with sample, S's go together. All right. And that's the end of this example.